Yo, what up? Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you today um, how to make like a um, a base slash breakdown in an electro house song. Um, I mean, what I'm using is an organ in the XP bass pack. I'm gonna open up all the cutoffs so. You know, that's that basic uh, Miami kind of ba -da 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 -da. but it's important to get creative <coughs> in your piano roll. And I'm going to have to check my text message. Who is this? Oh, it's my buddy Paul. Oh, hello, Paul. Okay. So, now I'm just going to show you how I made this and show you what's important. I mean, I shouldn't say what's important, at least what's important to me in regards to anticipation and making a breakdown <clears throat> or making a bass line or a synth line that's going to keep your audience captivated. Now this may not be the best line so to say, but I like it. It's going to turn into a pretty good song. Now I want you to listen to this, no, I'm sorry, this. that this does not go for four counts it goes for three and a half and then it goes to the next chord progression or doesn't have to be an exact chord progression it could just be um, notes and then three and a half and then the next one and then the next one and then the last one follows up so you're gonna notice the difference here so opposed to you can notice a big difference too well I didn't line that one up quite right but you'll hear it if there's no anticipation there you want to hear the next you know note hit or at least I do when I'm dancing, which isn't very often, but you get the point. So I'm gonna change the synth. Ugh. I like that one a lot. I don't like the delay. Okay, now let's stick to that. So when you have that, um, you know. It's dun -dun 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 It's not it's not one, two, three, four, one, two. It's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It adds a lot of anticipation in your tracks. So I know i I know I've talked about automation because I'm an automation junkie, but we're gonna drop this down a little bit. this wiggle it a little bit I know it sounds weird go to tools last tweaked create an automation clip there's a little automation clip and now we're gonna make it like that open up and then you're gonna click on pattern one and there it is and draw it out now we have our cutoff linked to that there's also a filter modulation cutoff which I'm also gonna link to that Take it, wiggle it, tools, last tweaked, create an automation clip, and here's her other one. So now let's listen to it.
going to do here is we're going to click on that. Gonna put it up an octave. Right click. Don't, don't, don't not. I'm sorry. Do not right click. You probably already did left click. We want to alternate octaves. So it sounds a little cheesy, but I'll find the right synth for it. Sunfine, press Control A, Control All, and then C. They're going to paste directly over onto where you're at. This is at F5, A, C, Control V. And now I'm going to go down to F4. See, this is on dance lead, so let's let's find a piano. anymore. Whenever you switch, make sure you hit that back on. It'll still pick up the cutoff, but make sure you click that back on. This cutoff is moving as long as the, as well as this one. Take this and we're going to set this to high pass so you're going to hear the difference. I'm going to go to pattern. So wiggle that. Tools last tweak. Create an auto clip. This should sound okay. sound so I'm gonna click on that sign it to a free mixer track go to where are you let's see how it sounds no it's not the overdrive I want blood overdrive no There's, where's the distortion at yes ah okay no can also automate this the same way, but when it's inside of FL Studio, 
Let's see what type of distortion they have real quick. Okay, it's a little overboard, but you'll you'll see what I'm gonna do here. Right click, create an automation clip. Give it a little bit of crunch at the end. And some some might say that's too much, like adding distortion into the automation in there, but I like it. Like I love distortion. I play electric guitar, so Especially with a little bit of uh, where's the reverb on here setting? Let's just do this solo real quick. And take the filter off. Let's take a piece of piano. More pre delay for sure. Less decay. There we go. Now it's gonna it's gonna mesh nicely. Now you'll see how this oh, now you'll see how this works together. Here it open it up slow. And the high pass on the piano is also opening up slow, but now it's getting a lot stronger. three minutes left here so what's one more thing that I would do I would uh, the decay I'd automate the decay as well so where is that the release I'm sorry actually I probably wouldn't um, around there a little bit but you get the point um please subscribe and i'll have more videos of uh you know this is just kind of me jamming out but i showed you a couple tips and tricks here so um thank you for watching and subscribe and check out www.flstudiomadness.blogspot.com uh, also follow me on twitter and check out tim mcmahon which that is me on SoundCloud. I have my uh, full tracks up there, so follow me on there and feel free to drop me a message if you have a question with absolutely anything. Save that stuff. <laughs>